postal services don't really do anything on Sunday, but uh, let me see. Has it been delivered yet? This item has been shipped. What? They said it was supposed to be here. To d oh my god. How, how many different senders are they going to transfer to to finally send it over here? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, look. Tomorrow for sure I'll get my full 24 RAM. I hope. <laughs> uh. Anyways. Let's just get to some Final Fantasy now. Also, I, I want to double check something with the bestiary. Hold on. Was I missing an- or what? Was I missing items? Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, she drops a golden apple. If I remember correctly, golden apples raise max HP, and I didn't farm that drop. Ah, oh, well. What else am I missing? T-Rex with a strength tonic. I think that's a temporary... temper buff. Hold on. Oh, I guess uh, we haven't found any other bosses. Okay. Alright. So, if I remember correctly... We basically... We got the fire crystal back, and we should get to the water soon. But I think before that, maybe it's a decent time to, uh... To do one of the bonus dungeons. Since, uh, there wouldn't really be any point of getting the loot afterwards when we beat the game, so... As we go now. I also like to stock up on uh, extra supplies, though. Let's see, how am I doing with other items, though? So, in terms of antidotes, okay. So I need eye drops. And echo grass. What places sell eye drops and echo grass? Is it the city up here? Oh, I provoke that right. That always looks so different because it's tilted at a different angle. Take a lot of those. Helicopter boat. <laughs> Don't see any problem here. Okay, and I think I wanted Echo Grass, right? I think there might be some in either Melmond or. Uh, Elfheim. Let's check Elfheim. Because before we do these uh, bonus dungeons and stuff, they are very, very extensive dungeons. And unless... Although, maybe you can teleport out regularly, but I'm not sure if they disable it or if you just have to use an emergency exit. But, I'll uh, just stock up on them. Yeah, here's the echo grass. Cool needles. Uh, they'll cost- they cost a bunch, but let's just... Get the regular- or get like a few pieces of that. Three, four, six, and- Oh, they can learn level six stuff now? Wait. Oh, if I knew that earlier, I wouldn't have spent all this money. Oh, that sucks. 
That means we're gonna have to do some more grinding, but... Where am I going to find level 6 stuff? Because this was level 5. This was level... No, no, no. This was level 3 and 4... 5... Actually, was it over... back over here? You can't actually walk through here? Yeah, this was a level 6. Cure stone. Oh. So there's the exit to just leave dungeons, but then there's... there's then there's teleport if you just wanna... Go back to a previous floor. Yeah, I think I just get these three. And maybe spend a little bit of time grinding up the extra gill right outside here. Because the fights here shouldn't be that bad, right? Speedy boy, yeah. Like you actually, because of like the extra speed you have, you actually do a really good amount of damage. Yeah, we can just stick around here for a little bit longer. Catch your ninja run. Oh no. Cool. Oh, maybe I'll use magic on this one. I was missing out on. Let's see, what was I missing out on? Sandaga. So we have to get this. Uh, I believe there are certain annoying normal enemies that you would like to use death on, actually. I'm not sure about the paralyze. Actually, I don't know. Do you take stun or no? Because I know some... Aren't there some certain bosses that are vulnerable to stun? Hmm. Uh, I'll just take Thundaga though. Right, also, I should probably check if I can sell anything too. Nah, uh, the Cockatrice Claw is super... Super cheap. Definitely sell this for two gill. Uh, what are Mithril Axes at again? So they're at 25, so these are at 29. Yeah, we don't really need Mithril Axes anymore.
or well beyond that point. We don't need armlets anymore since we have the ruby stuff. Bye bye, leather cap. Rip axes. This seems to be a writing shoe. Wow. Hey, hobo. Give me a cool night. Get out of here, Cab. <laughs> also, thank you for the host, hobo. Actually, let me check. Uh, do I take the... No, these have less stats and even though it sounds neat that you can cast the Nara on a knight, I'd rather have insta-death protection. So I think I'll actually just sell this. Hmm. Yeah. If the helm has to go too. With the gloves as well. Thank you, he said her for the host. Also, wait, what mod is that? Rue... Rue Cult? Huh. Why does that vaguely look like Weenie the Pooh? Only like... Or like, it's supposed to be shaped like Weenie's face, but... With... Rue's mascot. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Wait a second. I think I'm on to something. Yeah, let's see. Uh, do I farm enough for death? Or I think I farm for death. Not a cult. go to the Cavern of Ice. Is I remember correctly, there's still some stuff I needed to reclaim. Yeah, I can go fight all of them. Fisco Demons. Never forget about the Black Mage. Yeah, like, the game would be that much harder if you don't take a black mage, or at the very least a red mage, to cast black magic spells.
Oh, right, I didn't take any of the Dia spells. <laughs> Maybe I should take the Dia spells and remove one. Mm. Hey, Gorgon. Enjoy, big snack, hobo. New robes? Wait, hold on a sec. I can have her? Okay. Oh yeah, speaking of FGI, I actually need to farm the... Actually no, I... Wait, did I spin all my AP? Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Just two mind plays, they give a decent amount of XP. Big circle. Wait, you actually can't. Oh, okay. Oh. I shall fight then. I'm gonna burn mana here, though. Oh, that's great. I remember there was like a chest with white dragons and stuff that basically killed me in one hit. Drink too much damn feel like crap. Ah, get better, hobo. Uh, maybe a general heal would help everyone out here. Yeah, what you had to drink today, hobo? Too drunk. Too much. Let's drink! been going uh pretty fine the initial sessions were uh a little bit rough because i took my sweet time doing this low level clash change thing to min max on stat growths but uh now that i got that out of the way uh it's been pretty fun to actually do combat now and not get killed by everything i pass by yeah things are looking Looking pretty good. And Max ain't look. You don't understand. You know how much of a pain it is to get knights and ninjas extra mana if you look flash changing late? Impossible. I should equip fire swords on this guy. Actually, no, no. I should equip it on Skylark. Uh, no frost, just in case. I don't remember how strong it is. Ah, oh, of course it's faster. Oh, 
find a way to way up for stats. <laughs> oh, you're hiding ice armor. Also, speaking of ice armor, uh... Gonna have to change that, finally. Actually, the white dragon might be a decent farming spot. Mm, I'm having to deal with the ice storm every time. Uh, it's like a very quick but very expensive, very expensive uh, farming method. What's a Remoraz? First time I've seen you. Huh, 500 XP for one of those. Oh, this was the dead end, wasn't it? Oops. So I think it's about time for me to check my Epic 7 right now. <laughs> While I wait for this to play out. Oops. Because I need to check, did I actually derank within the past like t 20 minutes? I swear I'm not addicted. I don't have a problem. Spyraga? Hmm. <laughs> hey, Sloth. How you doing? Okay, nothing here. I should probably heal up. Oh, wait. I did almost D rank. Oh, crap. Wait, ho hold on just a second. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This is an emergency. G give me a second. I, 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 need, I need to find a quick fight that I can win so I, I, so I don't D rank. Oh, ho give me one second, guys. We now have a time with Gotcha. Look! Getting- keeping this rank is very important, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, this solo fight isn't as easy as I thought. Oh, did I just get debated? Getting lulled into a false sense of security? Yeah, I got lulled into a false sense of security. Well, then. Uh, what's special about this rank? Uh, basically, uh, with this... Like, with this, uh, rank and stuff, uh, you get, like, gacha currency, uh, depending on how high your rank is every week. So, if I can just maintain this, like, I'll get a really good chunk of, uh, like, gacha money, so I can save for pool, stamina, or, um, or whatever other things I need to save up for. Because, like, this is the only... This is like the one time that I've actually gotten this far in the rankings. Because it's too much of a pain uh, trying to just do uh, rank up uh, regularly. Just swipe. No, no, no. Like, funnily enough, that solo character that I was just uh, fighting against 4v1 almost wiped my team. So... Even on the fights that seem easy, you have to be careful. That's how people try to get extra rank, extra rank points out of people. Thinking they can get in 
an easy win, but no. That's how they get you. Oh. What? No. No, the XP is uneven. No. I want to reset so badly. If there's one big pet peeve of mine in any RPG, it's uneven XP. Okay, you know what? Fuck this shit. <laughs> I don't care how far back I'm going. Like. Wait, what's going on here? Like, hello? Guards against instant death? Ha- what? Like, how, how does this not count as instant death? Like, is it like a separate thing? Like, do they only refer to the spell death? Like... How does that work? It only protects you from the death spell? Like, are you serious? That is so dumb. Cause they should, like, in hindsight, they should've just written guards against death or in cap- with, you know, the, the name of the spell death. If it says instant death, that should imply anything that can insta kill. Oh, that's leading info, yeah. Hmm. Cavern of Ice. Near instant death. Oh, these goddamn loopholes, man. again. Uh, should probably get up to about 40, 50k gil before I leave. Mostly because I think uh, I'd want to respec uh, some of Origami's White Mage spells because uh, it'd probably be nice being able to have uh, one of the Dia spells so I can actually have some uh, some way of fighting against the undead enemies. I don't necessarily have to rely on always using hobo spells and burning all of his mana. Then and with Syrian Scarlock, they can only hit one at a time, so if there's ever like six or more enemies, the battles will just take forever or will take too much damage. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it to this area, though. Uh, well, it's not the 40k, I imagine, but... Uh, actually, wait, what was the level 6 stuff again? Like, there was... These ones... Oh, I think the other one was for curing stone, so I don't really need that. So then we can head over, head over east to Melman. Oh right, that's why I felt like I couldn't decide between 
Although, mm, now that I think about it, like, I could just stock up on Phoenix Downs instead of using Life. Because, uh, doesn't Life still only restore with one health? So it kind of be like, what's the point? for level 5 spells. So basically I just didn't take Scourge. Go for the previous floor. Eh, I'll just keep that. You know, teleport's not necessarily the best thing ever, but it's useful for like, convenient uh, quick travel. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. I wonder, is that knight's armor still relevant? Ah, it's on par. Okay, so we don't care about that anymore then. And let's make a quick trip to Elfheim. ones. Uh, I want to double check whether or not I want Diara. No place heal. Uh, I guess I don't really need heal anymore uh, now that I have Healara. Poison, Fear, Frost. Okay, okay. So I think we pretty much got... Oh, and no, I can still get level 4. No, I already got level 4, level 6. Uh, I... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, wait. They still cost... No, they cost 13k. So we can... now we can go all the way back to the Crescent the Town. And get that one last spell before we head into the uh, Earth bonus dungeon. And let's see, we have Thunder, Quake. It's either Death or Paralyze. But I think we should take Death. Alright. And now we should be properly equipped and well supplied. So let's go back to the Cornelia continent. And get ready for the long, long dungeon of... What's it called again? Something Grotto Shrine? Or... Oh, well, we'll see. Now make a backup save, like, right outside here. Because in case something goes wrong, I can fall back to the second save. Actually, wait, did I? Oh no, I didn't rest yet. I am a dummy. But at the very least, Cornelia has very good and cheap uh, inns and stuff. Oh, oh, right. You, you can't land on the streets. Okay. Time for bed. I'm less running. Look, Lugu. I've only ran away from like one fight so far in this stream. Also, hey, Sarah. I was to let you know that some of these songs never have even played FF1. 
But, but they're like, uh... Are a lot of these songs here, like, kind of remixed, uh... Like, a bit differently in later Final Fantasies? Alright, alright, here we go. Oh, not that far. There are stuff? Ah. Uh. <sighs> okay, welcome to Earth Gift Shrine. Where the exit's nowhere to be found. High potion. Southern Lunar Eclipse. Hey! Alright, let's see. How bad are they? Mm, not that bad. Still one shot. a challenge I see in chat. You gonna take that from Lulu, Sarah? <laughs> Video game music quiz? Now that kind of quiz I'd be perfectly down to play. second floor where basically you have random NPC monsters blocking your path so you're forced to basically talk with them and get into engagements around these areas. Also is this a thing? Nah that's just part of the environment. Second, guys. I need to find something. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I gotta open that bag. Oh, well. Because, like, I try to keep my GameCube controller's uh, cable tied up a little bit so the excess cords, like, don't run under my chair by accident. But, eh. Wait, I only have one, like, cable tie. I, I need a second one because it keeps. Like, the excess cable keeps spreading a little bit. Actually, no, while this plays out, I don't know. It should be right above it. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. Why don't I just place this? Second, guys, I'm tying my controller cables together. Oops, uh, I think I didn't do something. Okay, now here we go. There. Now the cables can stop spreading everywhere. Uh, doesn't be, didn't these things hurt a lot? Huh, maybe it was the other ones. Yeah, 
Okay, that one's a dead end. Okay, I guess it doesn't really work on these. Or well, like they only have like 100, 130 health? Okay, not really much to work with. Alright, don't run away. Yes. <laughs> Look at that damage. Oh my god, I took two steps, man. Actually, I believe there are treasure chests to go cut by the luck path here. I think the route to the exit is on the upper path on the right turn. Last time I did this dungeon a long time ago. these spiders. Oh, okay. Screw what I said about the luck path. This has nothing. Also, my eyes are getting pretty heavy right now. Although my sleep did get messed up a little bit last night. 
I, of course, I slept a teeny bit late as usual, but then, uh, for some reason, I ended up waking up at three in the morning or something like that. And even after trying to fall back asleep and getting up at around nine or nine o'clock or so. Well, like, I kind of felt fine, uh, like, having rested enough until that time, but I think it's now hitting me, <laughs> uh, with that disrupted sleep earlier. Controller still worked. Well, still worked uh, well. I mean, because I still have my old uh, my old turbo controller. It's just that it's broken because the like cover for the cable and everything is all like. Well, it's slowly worn away, like, over the years and stuff because of how bad the material is. So then, like, when you look at the exposed wires of that GameCube controller, like, you see, like, the red, yellow... What was it? Red, yellow, green, and blue wires or whatever it was. Like, there's, like, a yellow wire that comes out of its, the controller, and it's... it's cut off. The controller still works. It's just that one yellow wire, I'm not sure what it does, that's kind of broken off from, like, the controller. I'm like, oh, well, it still works, I guess. But then the controller started developing problems where it either wouldn't read, it, the control stick would read the wrong direction, or it would keep pressing buttons when there's nothing being pressed. I'm like, okay, this controller is dead. <laughs> Or I can be that guy and give that second controller to a friend of mine. I was like, oh, this is the good controller, I swear. <laughs> nah, nah, but I have that. Turbo controller stashed away. Somewhere in my room, never to be used again. Why did you buy a new controller? Yeah, I already bought a new controller. It's just like uh, a long time ago. I used to use it while it worked well. I still have my original GameCube controller. At the time too, it was just uh, uh, getting another controller to basically play stuff with my brother and cousins. Yeah, let me tell you, that, that turbo controller really helped me out when I played Mega Man X Command Mission when I got it for my first time like a long time ago. Because <laughs> there are certain like action triggers for character specials that involve having to button mash. Oh my god, it helped you maximize on damage so much when you use the turbo controller. Long to mama. You gonna go try and sleep and stuff? Alright, hobo. Have a nice one. Hope you don't freeze and stuff. Search for a room. <laughs> hmm. Seems like the enemy crew in Grand Blue is still asleep. They haven't really budged in their honor count. Hopefully because uh, tomorrow is a Monday in Japan and stuff, uh, hopefully not too many people are getting getting ready for trying to catch up on Guild Wars. And hexes. I didn't Facebook is play games. 
Remember a long while ago when, like, was it, was it middle school or high school when, like, Farmville was, for some reason, getting popular for some weird reason? Like, I remember, like, the students and teachers were, or at least, like, in some of the class that were talking about Farmville, I'm like, why the hell, like, would people enjoy playing these things, and then, Funnily enough, you fast forward quite a few years later, and then I found myself playing a number of idle clicker games. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well then. Now I sort of understand, but I'm not sure why so many people at the time of my high school enjoyed enjoyed all of it at the same time. I don't know. Although, uh, I mean, it's kind of like the cookie clicker thing as well. F your crops. Turns out I was a problem. Oh no! I was the asshole the whole time! No, that South Park episode. Wait, was that the South Park episode where, like, they were kind of talking about the whole mobile game thing and then they had Satan, like, teach Stan about, like, how, like, gotcha games or mobile games, like, get you addicted and everything? Early on, you rolled your eyes at spending on gacha games and virtualizing, yeah, here we are. Yeah! Funny how times change. No, oh, put that credit card away. I ain't using it. I ain't using it. Big what? Guaranteed SSR. You know, all those times you wasted hundreds of quarts and you never got a single thing. This is the one time you could just pay and just get that one SSR and live with it. You know? Guaranteed. <laughs> like, oh god. He's like, oh, by the way, uh, you have to use only paid quartz. It's like, oh. Screw you, game. Also, screw FGO for not just simply having a buy 30 quartz option. <laughs> so much. We dug this hole. We dug this hole. Ah, okay, there was a treasure chest up here. Monk outfit. It's wrong, dude. <laughs> you expect this whole thing to hit mainstream media someday? Hmm. Oh wait, oh crap, I just realized I was 5 minutes too late to double check my ranking in Epic 7. Oh no, now I have to wait for the daily reset uh, so I can double check if my rank actually stuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. This is their sanity to begin with. Yeah, though, like, with all, like, a lot of the, like, not really the, like, mobile gacha games and stuff, but with how, like, EA and, you know, or EA, Ubisoft, Activision, so on and so forth have been pushing these microtransactions, uh, 
Like, it's been getting closer and closer to the tipping point where some really big stuff will probably go down. But, like... Like, there are already, like, several countries and, like, uh, other states in the U.S. that are trying to crack down on, like, microtransaction stuff. Because I, I know Belgium, like, had a thing for, or did a thing to, I believe, disable loot boxes, or, like, had some laws against loot boxes and stuff. And Valve and other companies had to either remove them or, like, not offer their games or run their games until they do or something like that. And then I remember in Hawaii, uh, like there are some state legislators or something that brought up the issue about loot boxes in video games. So like, the government will probably take forever trying to like, get a grasp on all this stuff, but it's probably going to happen, albeit very slowly, so we'll have to see how much the government screws us because the companies don't know how to, like, don't even know the meaning of pro-consumer practices. I know their businesses and all, but they're gonna bring this shit on themselves and ultimately onto us. Belgium made outright illegal and EA refused to comply. Yeah, because I remember seeing some articles where EA lawyers like just tried to or was it lawyers and stuff that like where they really tried to argue that like, oh it's not gambling and you always get something. It's not, you know, regular gambling where you just straight lose stuff. But it's like, well times are freaking changed. Enough regulations where companies can't screw people. Mm. Yeah, so it goes. Not just in video games, but just anything relating to regulation of whatever industry. Cause in the end, we'll always get screwed over, regardless of the outcome. Unless the problem never happened in the first place, but unless someone can go back in time and brainwash all the people responsible for creating this huge mess, I mean, yeah. We're gonna be in this pretty deep once this actually gets to be a huge problem and, and stuff. I remember a long time ago, like, the first time I've seen microtransaction-related news, uh, or something, was, like, way back in elementary and stuff during the, like, early days of MapleStory. <laughs> and then, like, it made the news that, like, some kid got a hold of, uh, or, yeah, I believe a kid got a hold of his parents' credit card and spent, like, Hundreds, if not at least a thousand dollars on Maple Story, and then that made the news for a little bit. But then, at least since then, from at least the uh, the news I've read up every now and then at well, whatever news a kid would be interested in looking into, like, I haven't really noticed too much bleeding into mainstream news. But then here we are now, where things are kind of getting to a boiling point. Slowly but surely at this rate. You get working to the time on the time machine. You just want to see the future. Oh boy. Even Japan had Monkey Gate. Yeah. Never forget Monkey Gate. Although I still really don't like the whole thing about adding gate at the end of whatever controversy or something that, that really... I don't know, there's something about that naming scheme that just bothers me. It's like, why gate? It's like, just because the water gate happened doesn't mean you can always add gate at the end of everything. 
like, what was it, deflate gate, or whatever I heard, something gate, I, I don't know, G gate this, gate that. <laughs> but yeah, like, if anyone else doesn't remember, I believe Cyril, I, I believe that was referring to the Grand Blue thing, where it's like, uh, a Japanese, uh, person whaled, like, $6,000 USD worth of yen for the the monkey zodiac girl in Grand Blue when there was no spark system where you can like after x or af after 300 pulls you can pull whoever you wanted in that uh, banner guaranteed so that apparently made a lot of news and then well that's what kind of got at least Japanese politicians involved in the gotcha side of things or something like that Basic the reason that I just water gate not very creative. Yeah. And knowing the general public and news outlets and stuff, they're not gonna change that kind of naming scheme anytime soon since it's so embedded in our culture. Just associate any public controversies with something gate. Uh. That's what we call an actual meme, by the way. <laughs> Mainstream memes. Save my game, actually. There we go. It's been a long while since we saved on this floor. Even though there's not nothing really dangerous around here yet. Just in case of some unfortunate accident, can't really hurt. Also, I really have no reason to be killing all these generic uh, monsters that are just kind of roaming around the map. But ah, uh, whatever. So wait, an element of culture system behavior, especially imitation. That was <laughs> just random crap on the internet. Huh. There's nothing special about this gravestone. It's not kind of using for what for a moment. Yeah. Wanna be me? 